Hi everyone, my name is Keller. I'm one of the founders of JobSpice and I'm going to be spending the next five minutes showing you how to create a great looking resume and publish it online. When you get started on JobSpice.com, you'll be in the Compose tab, which allows you to enter in all the content that you want to include in your resume. I can click here to enter my contact information and then add new sections like education, coursework, and let's add one more, how about experience. If I don't like the way that these sections are titled, I can change them. Once I'm ready to enter my information, I just need to click one of these blue plus signs. Now JobSpice asks me the name of the school I attended, the degree that I earned, and when I attended the school. If I want to talk more about my educational experience, I can just click New Detail. The same goes for coursework and for professional experience. I can just click New Job, and JobSpice will ask when I worked, who I worked for, and the name of the position that I held. If I want to describe more, I can just click New Detail. Now I'll switch over to the filled out version of my resume, which you can see here. One of the great things about JobSpice is that I can actually move parts of my resume by just clicking these arrow signs and dragging them to where I want them on the page. Here I've switched education with leadership experience. I can accomplish the same goal in this tab. Again, I'll just drag education above leadership experience. I can do the exact same thing with subsections. So if I wanted to move Harvard Business School, I just click the arrows and drag it to where I want it on the page. Once I'm happy with the content of my resume, I just need to click Design. And now JobSwice will load 30 different professionally designed styles that I can apply to my resume. I'll thumb through a couple until I see one that I really like. Okay, I love this style, so I'll click Apply. And JobSpice will instantly format my resume according to that style. If I have a change of heart and I want to look at a couple more designs, I can do so over here. This looks a little cramped. Let's try green and simple. This looks better. But if I scroll down, I can see by this page break that I'm actually spilling onto a second page. I can fix that by going here and adjusting my font size. Now I'm almost making it. Let's adjust the margins. Now my resume is fitting onto one page. I like this style, but I think I like this one more. Once I'm happy with my resume, I can publish it. JobSpice allows me to either download my resume as a PDF or host it online. Downloading as a PDF is easy. JobSpice will instantly convert my file for me and give me the option to download by clicking here. If I want to host my resume online, I'll click and select to create a new link. Now I just need to enter the name of the website that I want to create. I'll use my name and a number and click submit. JobSpice has just instantly created this website for me and it's posted my resume at that website. I can click here to visit the URL and see the site. I can forward my friends or employers to this site so that they can look at my resume. If they like it, they can always click here to download it as a PDF. Building a resume and publishing it online is seriously that simple with JobSpice. It can save you tons of time and help you get a great job. Thanks for listening and good luck with your job search.